As people transition to the cloud, it's kind of an unknown world. We have this opportunity to help people understand not only that security is important and that privacy is important, but that with cloud, it is possible to build these concepts right into the platform itself. Unlike a lot of companies, we didn't retrofit our operations so we could support cloud services. Google was born in the cloud. We've built this infrastructure which is extremely secure and has lots of tight security controls. Being able to ensure that data is encrypted in transit and at rest, Google Cloud does that. And what we're doing now is we are providing application level security and visibility on top of that extremely secure infrastructure. We're trying to provide our customers much more insight and control. So we've broken down the walls between applications, devices, and people to make the experience much more seamless. There's not a perimeter around the enterprise. It's based on the identity of the user or the identity of the device. The most innovative work we're doing is to be better at predicting what might happen and getting ahead of it using machine learning. Often regulation trails technological innovation. We're bridging that gap so that our enterprise customers are not left behind. Regulators expect their customers to do their due diligence. So we help customers by inviting third-party auditors to come and verify what we're saying about our security practices is true. That the foundation of trust is an expectation from the functionality of the services all the way through to did we always protect your information. That's an expectation that must be your experience when you come to Google. Google Cloud Platform or G Suite or Identity Solutions or Chrome all of those things put together, from device all the way to data center, that's the trusted environment that Google Cloud delivers to customers.